Back in February, my wife and I enjoyed a trip to Vegas gifted by my mother-in-law. My MIL joined us and brought some friends. All was, well, one of the nights we were there. My wife MIL and her friends decided they were going to go to a club in the hotel and we guys were going to go play craps. I got tired and decided to head back to the room. I showered and patiently waited for my wife to return to the room after receiving some detailed texts about what she wanted to do to me that night. She arrived stumbling and was clearly way too drunk for any kind of activity. So I undressed her and got her into bed. I plugged her phone in and was about to go to bed when her phone started blowing up from one of her friends. I answered her phone and they informed me she had left her credit card at the bar. I thanked her for telling me and ended the call. I swanked up as I usually do to close the app I am using and her phone displayed a text conversation that wasn't in the regular iMessage app but Telegram it caught my eye and I thought it was strange. I opened it and discovered it was a text between her and one of her colleagues for context. Back in July of 2021 we moved states three hours away as my wife kept asking for me to get a transfer with my job. Finally, a transfer was granted and we moved from our old town to a new state. My wife was a principal of an elementary school there and the male colleague who was texting her is still a principal. There. There were photos shared of her in the sexy outfit she wore that night. He told her how hot she looked and the last message was love you baby. I didn't know what to do. I went to her photos and saw she had shared many photos with him. Very intimate photos. I saved all of the photos and sent them to my Google Drive account. I saved all the texts and sent screenshots to my account as well. I then went on to FB Messenger to see what else she has been up to. I saw that one of her ex-boyfriends was expressing how much he missed her and how he should have married her and not me. I then went and deleted all the screenshots from the recently deleted photos folder. Making sure she did not know I had screenshotted all of these things. I stayed up all night pacing as she slept drunk. I had his phone number from her phone. I saved it and screenshotted it in the Telegram app to prove it was his number in the messages. I found his address. I found his wife's name and her phone number. I found her on social media. I was ready to blow this all up, but I didn't. I love my wife and I decided to let her explain herself before I blasted them to his wife. I packed my bags and was ready to change my ticket and fly out. But again, I love my wife and this would have caused her great embarrassment if I were to be gone early in the trip, leaving her to explain to her mom and friends where I was and what happened. So again, I stayed put, I also knew that if I left, there would be no room for reconciliation. By this time, it was about 6 to 7, Amy took her phone and went downstairs to the little coffee shop and breakfast place in the hotel. I just helped myself through all of her stuff. I checked the phone statement on my phone and found out how long this had been going on. Just over a year. The first texts came through in December 2020 and then they stopped in December 2021. But clearly they continued talking through the app until February 2022. During all the vacations, dates and fun little things we did together. I could only assume she was texting him with me right next to her. I bought her a coffee and orange juice, a Red Bull and a bottle of water so she could sober up when she woke up because we weren't going anywhere. I went back to the room and plugged her phone in. I had everything I had the idea to log into the Telegram app. They were using to talk on my phone's web browser so I could see all of the messages between them. I sat on the bed next to her, sad, angry, heartbroken and just in disbelief. Finally, at about 11 o'clock, she started stirring. She told me to come to lie with her, but I just went and sat next to her. She immediately knew something was wrong when I got into bed with her. I guess you could just feel it. She immediately jumped up and turned to me and asked me what was wrong before I had even said a word. All I said was who is Greg? She immediately got defensive and sighed. She asked why I would go through her phone like that. I told her what had happened and that I wasn't snooping through her phone. I explained that someone had called and I saw it. She jumped up and grabbed her phone and went to the bathroom. 
I opened the app and saw she had sent him a message. I left the app open last night. I saw it. Then she deleted it. She deleted all of the messages. So they disappeared in my web browser as well. But I already had them saved. He replied, no, am I in trouble? I couldn't help but laugh. This guy was 41 years old. A principal asking if he was in trouble. I found it funny that he did not give a crap to ask how she was. He wasn't worried if I was angry, he wasn't worried if she was a. She came out of the bathroom and I showed her my phone and said, you're really going to go text him right now. She started crying and I began asking all the questions. I wanted to be answered some questions. I knew the answers to some questions. I did not. I asked if she had sex with him. I asked how long it had been going on. I asked if he had ever been in my bed or in my home. I asked if she loved him. The answer to these questions was no, no, no. I wanted to go to his house. I wanted to burn it down. I wanted to do physical harm to him. But I have a precious daughter and a very good job that requires a security clearance. I finally lost the urge to confront him or hurt him, but I still had the urge to let his wife know. The problem is my wife does not want me to because of her embarrassment, shame and guilt. But I wonder if it is that or me finding out something she didn't tell me or lied to me about. Who knows? But I want a PS wife to know she deserves to know. I wanted to post his and her phone hashtag here that night. But I thought that may get me banned as well as into some civil trouble. We have very close friends there. Some of our friends, kids still visit us in our new state and our new home. Some friends are still principals there or work in the school system in the small town APS wife does as well. So there are small circles that intersect recently going back through the cell phone records. I remembered that we had attended a marriage conference in February 2021. Sure enough, there was his number on the same dates as the conference. He actually attended the same marriage conference with his wife. It just got worse. It seemed. I also saw that she talked with him on the phone on her birthday, August 2021. While I was arranging a surprise party. She was on the phone for 45 minutes. I practically had to drag her to dinner that night with about 40 people waiting to surprise her. When she saw all the people she cried and told me she loved me so much that night. I had no idea. I went through my phone and deleted every picture from December 2020 to February 2022. That was intimate hugging or kissing or any sexy photos she had sent me or photos of us together on some random trip we had taken. I couldn't delete the pictures of my daughter at the same time, but they make me sad knowing what I know now that she was likely talking to him and coming home to me update. She removes the lock from her phone. She has given me full access to her phone. I told her I wanted couples therapy. I wanted her to go to individual therapy. She refused couples therapy but went to individual therapy. I asked again for couples therapy and she refused again. I finally told her that she did not get to dictate how this went. She either went to couples therapy or left. I told her I would not move out. She could move out. My daughter would stay with me as I would be in the house and she needed to stay in the environment that she knew she was livid. She said that I would kick her out and keep our daughter from her. I said I would never keep her from her mom, but I would have full custody and she could see her every other weekend. She finally agreed, she cried, she apologized, she explained most of it to me, but it's only been 5 months and I keep getting questions in my head and I ask them, she gets so upset when I bring it up. I told her again that I was sorry that my grief was inconvenient to her happiness. I told her she did not get to just move on like she wanted to. She just thinks if we don't talk about it, it will disappear and we will be fine. I started going to the gym. I'm looking better. She has noticed other women starting to give me attention, good-looking fit women. She admitted she made a huge mistake and she messed up so badly. She is working on fixing things. I still get depressed but we are working through it. I still want to tell the wife but I don't want to risk the progress we have made this far. 
My therapist asked if that would make my situation any better and what the repercussions would be. So, here we are. I guess I'm just letting you guys know. It's possible. I see so many posts. How do I move on? What do I do? Is it possible? It is. But it still sucks. I still wonder. I logged into the Telegram account recently and saw he either blocked her or deleted his account. So there is that one foot at a time OP? Are you working under the premise that your wife never got physical with this man while married to you? If so you seem to be in denial when there is the type of dialogue between them that includes the words, love you baby. There is always a chance that your wife has learned her lesson but highly doubtful, you should expect a repeat performance somewhere down the line. Are you trying to save her embarrassment or are you trying to save yourself embarrassment? You have nothing to be embarrassed about. And if you actually do undertake reconciliation, you need to inform everyone in your family and friend group. Lastly, you humanely have a right to inform this guy's wife of what happened. Do the right thing, bro. She deserves to know and to not tell her because you risk a failed reconciliation is simply messed up. I wish you the best of luck. Opie, thanks for taking the time to listen to today's story. If you enjoyed the story, please don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't already. If there is a story you would like to share with me about your own situation, then please do not hesitate to contact me. Take care.